we're going to have a project that you guys can do. Uh, you guys either can work with someone here in the class, which I'm fine with, or you can do it independently. But it's a quiz grade. Okay, so that's what we'll, you guys will have extra time to work on that if you come six period. I'll do an activity uh, to, to, to get you guys solid on, on our quiz activity on Friday. You guys should all ace that quiz activity. Okay? You guys know that progress reports are due next week, right? On Monday. Okay? So get your, if you're missing some stuff, get it done. Get it in. Otherwise, you will be uh, failing the class if you got something missing. So we had our Columbus Day yesterday. We're talking about scheduling tasks and uh, critical path analysis today. Gio, you ready? So the notes I gave you from last week, they look like this. It's just like uh, kind of the like intro. What are you doing? Where are you going, Kyle? Throw this away. You throw that away? Okay. Go ahead. Oh, share. Share the food. So, so I'll see you guys tomorrow, and we'll do an activity that'll be live Friday's activity. Okay. So then when you come in Friday, bam, it'll be it'll be you guys will know exactly what to do. I'm not going to give you the same activity, but I will give you something similar in class. Got it? What's that? Unless you have that's when that happens? On Wednesday, six period, those that come, I'll do a similar activity that you'll be able to find Friday. Questions on that? So quiz activity on Friday. Quiz grade is 30% of your grades. All right. So let's get out, let's get out of here. So you guys had a good holiday. I uh, I went, was at the Vikings game and kind of some cool some cool traditions they do in the stadium. Oh, well, watch this. It's kind of cool. They've got cool traditions. This is the skull chant. This was third down and like six in the fourth quarter, like with two minutes left. Did they lose? They almost did. <laughs> they fumbled the they fumbled the ball on the 13, and uh, they uh, right after this play, this is third down. We stopped him. But then uh, Alexander fumbled the ball on his third carry. Get there, please, for this direction. Um, we are going to have some more specific um, instructions for our 10th and 11th graders for tomorrow. Um, but seniors, I know some of you have early release and double early release, so we wanted to make you aware and remind you um, that you guys will report to campus tomorrow, and we have some great stuff in store for you. Uh, again, so seniors, you will report to campus tomorrow, and we have just some great stuff for you. Uh, we will come on in the announcements at about 2.30, and we have um, a few other things to make sure uh, all the rest of you guys know. But I just want to catch seniors before you guys head out. Who's that? If you have really That's really my good. garden gnome. Huh? Oh. My, my garden gnome. Go Panthers. Go Panthers. No, that's my a buddy of mine, Dan. Dan? Dale and Dan. When he went, we were just thinking. Dale and Dan. That's the most Oh, my God. Why did you smile like that? Like, you can't see me. It's like the opposite of my best friend. Like, <laughs> is that a juicy juicy? Was it a what? That was a uh, what was it? A, it was blue cheese. Blue cheese and bacon. Was it good? It was really good. I couldn't find juicy juicy. Did you have a juicy Lucy when you were down in Rochester? Did you? Did you nah, have that sounds I like that. What the fuck? What the food there is really good. I knew right. Oh, you guys are going to have to go to the Cheese curd? Yeah, I was in Minnesota. It doesn't sound good. Uh, like, when you were in Minnesota, I was like, yeah. I was at the game. It was sweet. So, yeah, they, <laughs> they fumbled the ball. They fumbled the ball on the uh, 13. Detroit went in and scored. The last time I was at a Vikings game, it was a Detroit Lions game. And Detroit won on the last play of the game. Oh, yeah. And I'm thinking, not this again. No, it's not like last it. Lions fighting game, they lost too. But then they were able to march down the field. 
And they, um, <laughs> we kicked a 54 yard field goal, which, you know, our kicker's not that good for the Vikings. Uh, yeah. It's not as bad as getting one. Okay. What's it yesterday's game? Like, even if, um, the Patriots kicker stuff, our kicker stuff. I'm telling you guys, if, if you want to play in the NFL, football, start kicking. Start kicking. The girls. There was a girl, there was a woman's kicker that played for Colorado College. She was pretty good. I think I want to be a footballer. There's like, there's like a lack of people that know how to kick a football. I think I want to be a footballer. Let's do it. Let's do it. You got it. You are strong. You're capable. No, actually, I think I should be a footballer. Yeah. Okay. No. That was my weekend. What did you guys do? Homecoming. Homecoming. How was it? I didn't go. Sorry, I couldn't be there. Sorry, I couldn't be there. That would have been fun. Some of y'all were dressed up really nice from the uh, Panther TV I saw. I didn't. Everyone got their hair done? Everyone got their favorite dress? You got to find a place to sit? Holy shit. Hey, you got a pan? I was closer than that person. I didn't see either. I saw him at the diet. I was like tackled by people. Let me tell you. Did you serve? Let me tell you. And uh, you didn't get one. <laughs> Did you didn't get one. <laughs> Did you serve? All right, let's get here, okay? Let's get here. All right. We talked about diagraphs last Friday. Okay. No, 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 no. What are you doing? No, no, no. Put that back on. No, don't move. Don't, don't move that back. Don't move desk in here, guys. That's for that's for peace at tomorrow. I got I got to rearrange the desk. Okay. Oh, you guys can sit right here. Hey, you can sit right here. I was sitting down the whole time. I was glad you did my heels. I don't want to fall. He was jumping too much. I was like, 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 <laughs> okay, sit down and be at a desk. Okay, don't move, don't move, don't move furniture in here, guys. Hey, hey, I just asked you not to. Don't move my desk. Hey, over here. Sit in the desk. Don't move furniture in here. I told you that before. You know what you need to write on? Why are you listening to my instructions? You guys don't move furniture again. Come on, you guys coming late? All right. Yes, you can. I didn't hear the question. All right, we started. I'm sorry. What's your question? Um, there's a handouts on the shelf. On the second shelf, it's got it says chapter three. Yep, there's just just one handout. It's got staples. So everyone's got this handout. You think you weren't here? I was here. Everyone got this handout? This is the first six pages of the packet. I told you last week that I not getting the packet until Monday. Okay, you got this? So get this out. Let's get this out. You got that? In a way. Maybe eight, no right here. Thank you. All right. So guys, how many how many paths do I have through this diagram? Because you weren't here. He copied off of me, so I know he cheated. So he cheated. Maybe it's supposed to be. When did we get this? Okay, Friday. And then we took the test, right? No. Wait, what was it? <laughs> All right. So, guys, how many paths through this diagram? How do you know there's three? All right. You guys see there's two places I can start. I can start A or I can start B. What do you need? B. Come on up again. So I can go task A, task C, task E. 
These numbers in the vertices, they are my completion time. All right? Wait, do we have different numbers? This is just an example. Oh, okay. And I'm going to go over to that example next. All right. Yes, ma'am. It is. It is. What? So there's path A, C, E. I can also start at B, and there's path B, E. And then there's a third path starting at B, go B to D. When you add up the completion times at each of these tasks, you get the total completion time along that path. All right? Questions on that? All right. How many places do I end here? I'm gonna, I can either end at E or I'm going to end at D. Okay, you need one too? Yeah. I think I got a couple more. I'm going to check your backpack. Are you here on Friday? No, I'm here. Wait, real now. Are you still here? 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 Okay. On the shelf? Yes. All right. Let's go to the next one. <laughs> All right, you guys remember I had the our plane turnaround problem? You guys remember we had that turn around the plane problem in class. Those that were here. You guys got your no, you got your hand out? You don't have it. Okay. And it's nothing over there. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Who needs this packet? Let me print them off quick. Okay, well, let me get what I need for the people in class who are missing the handout. So, three people need this. <laughs> All right, so print one through six, and there's no staples. And so that's printing on the cop on the printer right now, yes, sir. I was cheering on the Vikings. They weren't on. They weren't on Sunday. They, they don't have a win yet. They're one five. We're being a division game. Anybody, anybody can win a division game. All right. They almost, they almost won. They almost beat us. Okay, so we talked about the play turnaround problem. Okay, that was what we did on our notes. And uh, I'm gonna right behind that 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 page on your handout. There's a blank page. Okay, so we talked about the, the turn around play turn around play around problem. Right after that, there's a, something that's called critical path. And when we're talking about critical path, we're talking about business efficiency. Okay. So critical path analysis is determines how efficient your business is run. Okay, that's what we're going to look at today. So these, these are the bullets you will write down on that page and leave yourself some room because I got I got like six I got five sentences I want to squeeze in at the bottom. So most often, guys, when you schedule jobs, you're writing down these notes here, Matthew. Matthew, Matthew. When you schedule jobs, they consist of complicated tasks. And some of the tasks cannot be done in a random order. That could be in a strategic order. Okay, like you guys remember what I was talking about your guys' morning routine? 
I mean, some of you guys wear socks because you wear you, you, you wear tennis shoes, and then you have to tie your shoes, right? Yeah. Well, you're not going to tie your shoes before you put your socks and put your shoes on, right? You can't just do it in some random order. There is a particular order you 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 prepare every morning for school. Okay, you can't just do things out of order. That's crazy. So they didn't get stapled. So there's three pages to each package. So when we have a predefined order of tasks that have to be done in a certain order, the entire job is not going to be done any sooner than the path of dependent tasks. Okay, because in the diagram we got arrows. And those arrows indicate dependency, how, how it's related to the task that preceded it. Now know that your project, when we're doing these diagrams, when we think of a project, your project's not gonna get done until the longest path in that diagram has been completed, okay? And guys, the longest path in those dependent tasks that we see in the list, that's what we call critical path. That's what we call a critical path. Now, why is it called critical path? Well, in our order requirement diagram, it's a direct, it shows a directed path through that diagram, and it shows what task precedes other tasks. And then we have a collection of tasks that make up a job. We're making up a project. Well, the critical path is when we find the longest path in an order requirement diagram. Remember, we got, we got the path. Every task has a completion time, the amount of time it takes to complete that task. And when we add up all those times, we get the completion of that of that branch or the completion of that, that path. Okay, and the longest path that, that's in that diagram or in that order requirement diagram, we called that order requirement diagram too last week. That's gonna be, that's gonna identify what your critical path is. And it, it, you get this by summing up all the completion times. That make up that path. Where do I get to take my test? So you, you're gonna have to come to an advisory or come after school? Is there a, I can, I can do it. An advisory. Okay. Come after school. Jim wants to go. Oh, wait a like problem. Wait, hold on. What's up? Or, or me. I am So here's my example. And I, the reason I'm putting up this example again is to ask the same question. First question, where, where can I start in this diagram? I can start at A or B, right? How many paths are through this diagram? There's three. So we start at A, we can go A. Task A, task C, task C. If I start at B, you see it branches. I go to task A and it branches to task E. That's the second path. And then I also there's a there's a path from task B to task D. That's a third branch. That's a third path. All right. And this particular problem, my longest path is BE, which is 52 minutes. And so BE is what we call our critical path. Because the project is not done until that critical path has been completed. So that means you're not going to deliver your product until that critical path has been completed. So why are we concerned with critical path? Because that's the path that you got to manage. That's the path you got to keep an eye on as a manager. Because if this goes longer than 52 minutes, now you may have missed the deadline. And in the real world, a deadline that you miss, there's 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 late delivery charges. You 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 violated a contract. And when you do late delivery, it, it costs you money. Sometimes it's millions of dollars, depending on how much how big your product is. 
My wife works in oil and gas. She works at National Oil of Arco. They build these huge cranes, not the baby cranes that, 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 that you see in the downtown skylines. She builds, her company builds cranes that they put on ships for, for the oil rig business, the oil and drilling dri dri industry. They build huge platforms. And her, the crane that she lived, she works on could lift up this entire school. Okay? It's 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 enormous. It's like 300 metric tons. Okay. Buying her buying one of her 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 cranes is over six hundred million dollars. Okay. If they get if they get a late delivery because the project's overrun, it's millions of dollars that cost them. And you know what? Millions of dollars that, that affects your bottom line. That reduces your profit. You make profit so you can pay your employees. You make profit so you can pay your shareholders in the, in the form of stock, in the form of dividends. All right? So this is a big deal when we're talking about business efficiency and planning. All right, questions on that? All right, now I'm going to go, I'm going to go to your, to your handout, the notes that we did. So this is what I want you to add to that bottom page that we have there. So when we're talking about critical path, Guys, the critical path is the path with the biggest answer. Yeah. Biggest or largest answer along the path. Okay? What does this tell us? Guys, this tells us This tells us the minimum I, I, minimum time of completion for the job, for the job or for the task, okay? So guys, your product does not deliver until that critical path has been completed. <laughs> the longest time in your project, the longest time in your in your task diagram. Okay, that's the last thing I want you to write down on that page. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for doing that. Everyone's got these notes. We're gonna complete, we're gonna we're gonna turn this in today for me to look at where you're at. All right. So we're gonna jump right to example two. You guys ready? All right, that's example three. What in the world happened? Sorry, guys. Here's example two. This is in your handout. This is page four. This is page four. You got your handout, Aiden? This is for great today. So turn this in before you leave. Again, I'm going to ask the same question. You should be able to ask this if I give you a set of tasks. Where can I start from in this diagram? Five or six. Hmm? So I have task A. I have task C. I have task D. Guys, the numbers are my completion time. Where can I start here? I can start at A or B. Got it? 
I can start at A or B. Where, 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 where do I end at? Where, where, where does this path take me to, uh, to my ending place? Yeah, I can end at D or E. You should be able to identify that in an order requirement diagram like this. You got this, Louisa? Where's your handout, Aiden? You got this? Can you get out, please? Aiden, get, this is for Greg. Major? Yes, yeah, I, I have three of these now. Well, I guess you got to do three times. A perfection. Perfection. That's what you're striving for in here, right? You want that A plus plus. Get out, please. This is what we're doing. I've given you time in class to go over this. Now, my next question is how many paths are through this diagram? How do you know there's three? So I got two places to start. If you're not sure, write down the paths. So ACD, like what we said. And if I wanted to figure out that completion time, I would write down and add all those numbers. So seven plus 10 plus 14. What is that? 31? And then I got B, D. That's another path through my graph. And that's 12. Yeah, it started B. It goes to D and we're, we're done. And I add that up, it's 26. And then the last one is going to be B, E. Okay. Oh, I was looking. Is, it, is only Michaela paying attention here? No, I was right. You're wrong. It's 18. Anybody see what I did wrong? It's only Michaela's watching, huh? What's 12 plus 6? Yeah. Yeah. I messed up. You're supposed to catch Mr. Bloom on that stuff. I did. I know you did. Yeah, you have to Oh, and I didn't fill this in. So, guys. I've got three paths through there. Which one is my critical path? Uh, 18. 18? Is the critical path your least? No, just kidding. It's 31. What did I, what, what, what did I write at the bottom of your last page? Mm -hmm. what, did I, what, what did you write so down? The, the one was oh. the biggest answer. We just got the biggest answer. 31. 31. Guys, that is your critical path. Now, you guys see on these other paths, there's some wiggle room. Like, I got five minutes on the second path that I can slack. I mean, I, I can take an extra lunch break. I can go out and have another cigarette. I can go out for whatever that is. In the workplace. No, I don't smoke. Uh, people in the workplace smoke. You don't smoke cigarettes? I do not. Anymore? Never have. I know what about like some Oh, really? Oh, I thought we were going to get out of I should open today. And while you're teaching, you don't think. So that is my critical path. You guys see the biggest answer is my critical path. There's, you you got to manage this one because your project is not going to get done until your critical path has been completed. Okay, what does that mean? What does that mean, critical path? Well, this tells me that this is going to be the minimum time possible to complete your project. If you don't get the critical path done, your product may not deliver on time. <clears throat> Questions on this? So, your earliest possible completion time, or I'm going to say, that sounds a lot like something else. I'm going to say minimum possible completion time is going to be your critical path. And that's for the, for the job, for the project. Because remember last week we talked about earliest, minimum, earliest possible completion time, and that was always the shortest path, the quickest path. When we're talking here, we're talking about the overall arching project. The pro overall pro arching project doesn't get done until that critical path is done. So that's going to be that ACB. So it's not going to happen 
until that has done. Does everyone get this? Let me give you a really a simple, simple example. Okay, you ready, Gio? You got, you got to write this down? Because this is the last thing I'm doing, and then you guys are going to answer example three and four in class independently. Got it? Here it is. Here it is. <laughs> Let's say we got three friends. Pay attention, please. You guys need to know this. You got three friends here, Logan, Peyton, and Connor. They want to meet up in Typhoon, Texas. Okay? Well, Logan is 40 minutes away. Peyton is 30 minutes away. And Connor is 15 minutes away. So my question is, how long before the friends meet at Typhoon, Texas? Probably the longest one. Probably? You don't sound too certain of that. Someone more confident of an answer than that? It's the second one. Now, see, I knew you were confident. What? Why isn't, why isn't it the third one? No, it's the first one. It's the first one. Yeah, 40. You sure about that? Why is it 40? Because it's the critical path. It is. Guys, it's the biggest number up there. That's my critical path. It's like so 40? the friends aren't going to all meet at Typhoon, Texas until Logan has gone, has driven 40 minutes, whatever that distance is, and arrived at Typhoon, Texas. So this is my critical path. So this is not going to happen. The friends are going to meet until 40 minutes has passed. You got it? Because these are independent tasks. They're each driving themselves, or they each got to ride to Typhoon, Texas. Now, if there were being, if there were carpooling, you'd have to add these up. But that doesn't, that's not in this problem right now. So then you would say, yeah, it would be a different, different answer. All right, questions on this? Okay. On the back of your handout, there are three examples. The first example is giving you a diagram, and it's asking you, it's telling you how many paths there are through there. What that first question, how many paths are through that diagram? It says there are four. So you guys write down your four paths. You guys write down the completion times of each path, and you guys figure out your critical path. And then you figure out your earliest possible completion time. Remember, your earliest possible key completion time is the shortest path. The minimum possible completion time is that project critical path time. Okay? I know this is confusing, but we're going to hit this. Don't throw stuff in here, Aiden. That's not cool. Okay, so you're going to do these two examples. You're turning them in today for a grade. So you got 13 minutes, 12 minutes. The second, the second example four, you guys got to create your own diagram. You're given a list of tasks. There's five of them. There's five of them. You got to determine are these tasks dependent? Are they independent? Are they tied together? Is one task have to be completed before the next one starts? How are they linked? All right. So that's what we're doing. So, Gio, you might want to get your project through your packet out because that's what I'm going to take for a grade today. And you're going to turn that in before you leave. And I'll do attendance and then I'll answer any questions you might have. I <laughs> 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 
Noah was here. She no, was like, she was here. And she went to the council. She said that they didn't figure out the schedule. I haven't seen her. I can't see 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 her. I can not see her 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 i can not see her
Do I need to wait for the engine to work and the repair to be done before I can do my my paint? No. Well, where does that go? Yeah, you got to do that after the body work. That's what those arrows do. This arrow shows that that task C is dependent on completing task A. And then you put in your completion time in the circle, in the vertex. Okay, so we got task C in there. Now transmission repairs. Well, is that, the question was, is it independent? Can I start working on the transmission before the engine? Or do I have to wait until I, after, after I worked on the engine? Well, you know what? I'm gonna say, I'm gonna tell you guys that, that the engine work, the transmission work is dependent on, on completing the engine work. Because it, 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 they're tied together. They're tied together. They're not independent. They're, they're, you got to do. You got to finish the engine repair before you can do the transmission work. I mean, there's probably exceptions to that, but I'm going to tell you that that's my ground. So that's task B, and that's three hours. Okay, now detailing and test driving is that independent? Can I do that before the body work's done? Can I detail the car before the before the paint's dry? Yes. Can I? Yeah, you got the detail inside the car. Oh, uh, no, detail is outside. Yeah, inside. Um, well, cleaning, it's, detail is usually, well, yeah, it's both, but you, start somewhere. you start somewhere, but uh, you want to do it while it's still in the, you want to do, do, do it while still the paint is still drying in the paint booth? Yeah. Really, you're going to start vacuuming out the, the car and detailing it, cleaning it, but the paint's still wet. Now you just stir up a bunch of, a you bunch of dirt. Now you got dirt in your paint. You take the frame back and pull the back to the seats because the seats are out. So they're not in paint. Oh my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Uh, then, then you're going to put it in a new, new interior? What are you doing? It's not talking about anything wrong with the interior other than it might be. Yeah, but it looks like it's going to be painful to take out. Uh, it's paint not dry, though. You got to wait for the paint to dry. You're not going to mess with uh, the car with wet paint. You're going to ruin your paint job. You open the door, you put a thumbprint on that paint. Now, now you got to, now you got to sand it out. Now you are ruin your paint job. Guys, that were detailing and test driving is dependent on the paint work being done. And you know what? You can't drive the car until the engine and the transmission are in the car and fixed, right? So they're both dependent on those two lines. Okay, that's your diagram. So now tell me which which of these is your critical path. There's the diagram. Which of these paths? How many paths are there through the grass? How many paths? There's two. I can start at A. I can start at B. A C E. So now, which one is they got the biggest value? A C E. The biggest answer. B D E. Okay, that is your critical path. Gate your critical path, and I want you to answer this question. What does that mean for you in real world time? What does that mean for you in the real world implication? What does that critical path mean? I want you to interpret that. That's it. We got three minutes. And you should be able to finish that. You should be able to answer that question and put it in the basket. And I'll put attendance in. It's fine. Finish this up. I don't mind if you horseplay, but get your work done. <laughs> I saw it in the I saw it in the <laughs> What's the original? Shh. What's your language, please? Got a question? Just right in the basket there.